Hi, Michael Bridges. Good to see you, Max. Would you like to play Guess Who? I'm very competitive, so yes. So you pick a card. No, no, no. Yes. Do you want to go first or want me to go first? Mugs away. Does he spend most of his time under a sunbed? No. So Phil Brown's gone. <laughs> Does he wear white? Has he got a white shirt? No. So I can get rid of Mark Verduca, a very good straight end. I've got to get rid of Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank as well. I, I signed for Leeds when he left. Were you his replacement? Yeah, a bit of a bit of a letdown for Leeds fans there, wasn't it? How much harder could he kick it than you? I did get Kieran Dyer with a fish incident. Does your player have an enormous backside? Possibly now, yes. Back then, I'd say yes as well. Dyer, Woodgate. Dyer, Dyer didn't have a big backside. Well, that's the point. I'm getting people rid of yeah. him who didn't. Sorry, don't understand the rules I'm, of guess who. I'm do struggling you? here. Yeah, uh, Maldini. Definitely, you know, he's just a beautiful man. AC Milan. Yeah. Champions League. Up, yeah. Um, I'm a big fan for like swapping shirts with people. And straight away, 91st minute, I thought, right, let's get back to Maldini. So I went and stood next to him. Some whistle goes, I went, you know, your shirt. And he said, no, no, sorry, cool. And I was like, yeah, kidding us. I've missed out. So anyway, all the lads had already collected in the shirts and I'm left with one man, Costa Curta. So as we were running off, it was the most humiliating thing I've ever seen. Costa Curta must have looked at my shirt and he just went, you know what it is, the fans can have it. And he threw my shirt into the crowd. <laughs> Is he wearing a red shirt? No. Maldini, gone. Robbie Fowler, gone. Mm -hmm. Ramos, Bowyer, Owen, Lineker and Wise. Is yours English? Yes. Kevin Musket, gone. Rivaldo, gone. Do you know what? I walked in on him at the new camp when he was doing a prayer. So any of the game, we'll get, we'll get smashed 4-1. And after the game, shaking hands. I'll never forget shaking hands with him. And he, his words were, that's what happens when you mess with me and God. <laughs> Is it Steve Bruce? No. OK, then it's Dion. Yeah, yeah, damn right it is. Yeah. Dion wanted to kill me. Why? So we're on the side of the pitch, and I'd, I'd slipped, I'd gone down, and Dion had come right through us from behind and smashed us. So what I did, I had a kick out at him. So then Dion just literally stamped on us. Me and Dion are having a bit of a ding-dong. I'm just going... <laughs> <laughs> messing myself. So he gets a red card, I get a yellow card. Perfect. As I was coming off at half-time, I'll never forget, I looked down, and I just saw Dion with his top off at the end of the tunnel. I went over and had a chat with Kevin Ball, our captain. I said, Ball, you've got to help us. He said, why? I said, he's at the end of the tunnel waiting for you. He said, get behind me, I'll kill him for you. And I'd, I'd gone and sat in the dressing room <laughs> and got out of it. Did this man love a fight on the football pitch? Yes. Dennis Wise. Tell us about him. Wisey was horrible on the park, so he would just wind everybody up. Wisey would just come and he would smash you. And you didn't want the ball, and he would be in your face. He'd go, I'm going to kill you. He'd really intimidate and threaten you. So six years later, I signed back for Sunderland. Me and Wisey went in for a tackle, and I ended up on top of him. And he, you know, he's a small guy, and I'm just looking down, I've got him by the throat, and I'm just looking, I'm going, that's for all the years of abuse, you little shit. <laughs> and there's a picture of me like that, and Wisey's trying to get us. And I just, after the game, he said, I pay back, well done. Hey, thanks for playing. Well, you won. I did. I'm a good loser. Uh, it's buckaroo or risk next. Uh, oh, I love risk. All right, done. <laughs> Until next time. <laughs>